Man, I flip my wrist, another profit. Yeah, nine to five ain't working, I got other options. Man, I ain't going back to the YouTube channel, guys. It's JA. So, we do have an update on the 253 passenger chartered flight that landed in Kingston, Jamaica about a couple weeks back. Now, government has now been able to formulate a response after it has been able to critically think and analyze the situation. So what we know is that the 253 chartered flight, majority of um, Indians on the flight have been repatriated back to their destination from which they came from. What has been said is that the airplane got up from the Civil Aviation Authority to land in Jamaica. However, immigration officials have cited that though they've been given immigration approval to land, or rather civil aviation approval to land in Jamaica, they, their documents, some of the passengers' documents, had anomalies. Now, what has been said is that the primary issue was, you know, it was a chartered flight. The Their issue was that there were anomalies with some of the passengers, passengers' um, travel documents. The thing that I am looking at is, if this same flight went to the United States of America, would it have gone there? Or would the flight have even been allowed to enter the United States air, air, airspace if it hadn't gotten requisite approvals? The question is, why is it that when when it comes to certain things, Jamaica has to be the guinea pig. The Honorable Dars Baz has now started the process to look at reviewing their landing procedures. If something was not wrong, would they look at reviewing their procedures? So it's either there's too many hands in the pot or one clear directive isn't being given. From what I understand, being a regular person when you travel to a country must ensure your documents are in order you can't do that when you're in the country and so when when we see this happening it says one jamaica your security um are not that good two people could have run off and you wouldn't have been able to find them three how can the civil, okay, the civil, the civil Aviation Authority gives approval to travel, but the superseding authority, which is immigration, which allows in, in certain um, tendencies, aliens, meaning people who are not citizens of Jamaica, to travel or to enter the country of Jamaica, they're the ones that give approval for you to enter the country. But then my question is, how can somebody, how can an authority give uh uh, uh entity authority to travel there but the immigration the immigration officials don't have a say it shows that something is wrong and furthermore the minister of foreign affairs and foreign trade which is Kamina johnson smith one she's not elected she's not elected in the sense that she's an appointed minister she does not hold uh, a seat a representative seat she doesn't have a constituency so she was saying um in in some high level me in south america that you know we're there to promote trade and you know we want to uh dispose of illegal trafficking and we want to create ethical ways to travel minister illegal people still human traffic yes you might want to create safe ways for people to travel but you do that the right way or you have protocols and procedures in place to deal with that where this charter flight is concerned i would ask you and your ministry did you all have the right protocol procedures implemented and if you did not have them there's going to be serious repercussions because you're in a very comfortable position as the minister of foreign affairs trade because you don't have any representatives they don't have to come to you and tell you anything so in, in certain in certain instances you're okay but in terms of your party the jlp party i can tell you y'all are gonna be in serious serious problems come election time because we, we've seen we've seen certain downfalls with with this party and not to go off track but meaning on track remaining on track the community is a part of the the governing party which is the jamaica labor right party 
and so this is another coffin in another nail in the coffin for the Jamaican Labour Right Party because you can see that the jail is beginning to buckle under the pressure they're, they're not able to hold the weight they're, they're, they're losing ground and it's very evident that you know um, is this indicative of internal internal handling as in like are they unable to handle their internal structure and it's now flowing over on the outward side of um, public facing uh, because the minister did state oh you know the diaspora help you know fuel the economy and remittances you know the thing with Jamaica Jamaica licky licky nyammy nyammy for money that, that the thing and that's where y'all almost got in trouble now when it comes to the diaspora Minister Johnson Smith all of those Jamaicans in United States Canada and the UK they had to get visa visas they had to get work permits they had to make sure their travel documents were in a line before going to that country that they're in so when you say create ethical ways for people to travel and their documents are not right you do not see the problem in that okay rest my case so no. they're trying to combat smuggling as the minister is saying um, they're trying to combat human trafficking they're trying to boost economies and they're trying to um, what you would say decrease irregular migration and I've said it and I've said it again you cannot stop criminals because they do not think like logical human beings now what I would want to bring to everyone's attention is what we call the International Organization of Migration now why is this important now this is important because the, U the UN International Migration or the United International Organization of Migration was founded in 1951 to help large number of people who were displaced after the Second World War now it has taken a new, a new and it's now called Global Compact for Migration now the Global Compact for Migration was agreed to by 152 countries Jamaica being one of them however there were five countries that did not vote for it and there were 24 that abstained uh, actually there were 24 that did not vote and 12 that abstained the five countries that did not vote were the United States Israel Slovakia Chile Israel Poland and I think Chizek don't know how you say that but if the United States of America did not sign this citing sovereignty where the country must have you know its sovereignty why Jamaica pick up itself figure pick up people where they can barely manage J Jamaica can barely manage its own people and it think it has has the ability to manage other people other people other countries people the other question is why do you think they put travel restrictions on people when you country it's no longer than 30 days or however amount of days there's a reason for that minister johnson smith and your inability to understand the issue and to look at the matter with an open mind is very telling because the jlp will lose seats in the next election and if it is by the grace of God you all hold on to, to power, it is going to be by a slim majority. Because the, the, the thing that has been shown is that when you're in power too long, you forget your purpose. And so you have to lose your seat or lose the power to be reminded of what your goal was. The lesson so, of this is do not take on more than you can handle at the end of the day and ensure you have proper protocols to deal with the problems that you may face of course issues may come up and you deal with them as they go but this be guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you on the next video so yeah sure. I ain't going back to using no wallet. Yeah, put that money in that Gucci bag to pop.